Are you looking for a new football news app? I can't lie, that's a very odd thing to just say in normal conversation, but I mean I- Then you've got to make sure to check out One Football down in the description below for all of your news, whether you're a Barca fan, Liverpool fan, or an Alfreton I don't know if it has them, I'm not gonna lie. Just download it anyway. So after tackling the stupidest things in manager mode, I thought I'd go one step worse. Player career. Unfortunately, in order to actually make this video, I had the displeasure of actually playing this game mode because, oh my days, this is far and away the worst thing I have ever played, Jesus Christ. So, before starting your pointless and non-rewarding venture into football, player mode starts with creating your own footballer. All is well, there's loads of ways to make your guy unique, including position, body type, height. Your pace goes down when you're, you're taller. Your pace goes down when you're taller. Siri, how tall is Usain Bolt? Looking up Usain Bolt. Usain Bolt is 6 feet 5 inches tall. Usain Bolt is literally the fastest man ever and he's 6 foot 5 yet being tall in player career makes you slow. If I'm 6 foot 5, I have 55 acceleration and 59 sprint speed. I could pencil roll faster than that. So there you go. If you want to be quick on player career mode, you need to have the stride length of a pigeon. Are you wanting pace? Dwarfism is your answer. Oh lord, this is already very controversial. It'll take you approximately 36 minutes of playing player mode to realise that one fundamental part of a footballer's career is very much missing from this game mode. It is the year 2018 and I still can't be substituted onto the pitch after starting on the bench. You could do that on PES 2009 Become a Legend. 2009! I've been through the entirety of secondary school, college and university and hence grad graduated in the time the EA have not realised this is a thing. How challenging actually is this? It's literally in the journey. I even have to request to come off as a substitute. Since when has a player ever just requested to come off? Yeah, gaffer mate, I know it's only the uh, 27th minute, but to be honest with you, I'm kind of hungry. I might just dip off, get, uh, get a meal, get a bite to eat if that's all right with you. Yeah, that sound lad, don't worry about a thing. Not like I'm the manager here or anything and I should be making the decisions. So in manager mode, you can simulate a match that, in all honesty, you can't be asked to play. Would anyone care to explain why this feature is not in player mode as well? It's not like there's a storyline to play out at any point during this career. I literally couldn't care less about playing every pre-season match in front of an attendance of about seven people. Just get me to the start of the Premier League season. I spent an hour and 20 minutes, that's 80 minutes, playing pre-season friendlies. 80 minutes, think of the things you could do in that time. You could have watched the entirety of the first Toy Story film from 1995. You could have flown from London to Paris for the day. You could have just had a nap. Oh, I'm actually done. I can't be arsed. Like... So after the torture of having to play all of pre-season, I just thought I'd get on with it and just smash it out of the park. <laughs> But oh boy, was doing well a mistake. Look boss, I'm fed up. I thought you said you were gonna sell me to Argentina in the last video. I've actually, I've had enough of these meetings now, mate. No, 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 good news this time, I promise. Legit, I think you've had a really good pre-season. As a young kid, I admire your progression and you have a serious chance of getting some more game time. Oh. Okay, cheers boss, that's sick. So we now expect 14 goals over the next four games from you. Is that okay with you? I, sw I swear to God, I swear to- I'm actually, I'm done with- After one successful pre-season as a 21-year-old newcomer to a Premier League top team, I am expected to get an 8.8 .8 average rating over the course of my first four games. An 8.8! .8. No player in my team got an 8.8 .8 in the first three games of the season, let alone kept that up as an average. If no other player in my team can do that, how on earth am I going to be able to? It's completely unrealistic. You literally can't get a rating like that without getting at least two assists or a goal in a game. I'm 68 rated, making my Premier League debut. How would that ever be expected of me in real life? 
We haven't even moved on to the gameplay yet. The gameplay, oh, the gameplay. I genuinely had more tactical awareness at the age of four than my AI teammates in player career mode. I feel like that statement is justified by the fact we lost 4-0 to Crystal Palace. Has anyone ever done that in the history of football? So let's take this example. In this situation, what should Sadio Mane do? Should he carry on running with his electric pace or pass it to literally nobody? <laughs> Who have you even seen, mate? I've had enough. And the managers are no better. Oh, so now we're losing 4-0 against Crystal Palace. He decided to play me a little bit further forward. That wasn't worth doing a little bit before. Okay, sound. Someone find me the person who developed the position indicator and allow me to strangle them. Look at how long I was out of position for before I was penalised for it. That was approximately three seconds. So you're telling me my manager has the time to look at every single player on the pitch and decide whether they're doing a good job based on whether they were in position for a three second period. In this clip, I charge down a defender and get taken out by the goalkeeper. It results in me being off the pitch whilst I get up and stuff and then the keeper pumps it up long and I am penalized for being out of position because I didn't somehow teleport back to the defender defensive line having been wiped out about five seconds beforehand. I get positioning is important, okay? Mostly, to be honest with you, for midfielders and defenders, but I'm genuinely being punished for tracking back as a striker. My rating will go down if I even dare to try and help defensively. I literally have to run the opposite direction, otherwise my rating will go down. Bad call for a pass is f***ed. It's plain and simple, ladies and gents. It's not a bad call if the pass was wank. This was not a bad call. I was the best placed player in the box. This is not a bad call. It's just a bad pass with no power. And I don't even know how I've been penalised for this one. It's just that Mane didn't beat the first man. I was in a good position. He just didn't beat the defender. To be honest, most of the time, it's just because the AI wait too long to actually give you the ball after you call for it. Oh yeah, I'm open. Down the line. Down the line. All right, it's coming. It's coming. Yep, yeah, cool. I'm I'm still waiting. Shh. I'm lining it up. All right. There's only so long I can hold this run for. Listen. I'm going as fast as I can, all right? I've got to measure out the angles. You're not even in possession of the ball anymore. Yep, yeah, I've come to the conclusion that was a bad call for that pass, mate. I'm sorry. You are in fact a literal nonce. And the thing is as well, the AI are so dependent on you that you just have to call for the ball sometimes, otherwise they're just gonna pass it around in defense and in midfield. There's genuinely times where I've had to just press A or X because at least it'll make them pump the ball long because they've been passing it around for the last 15 minutes in game. I do not want to watch my own team do that. I want to play some football and see them attack. How come on manager mode, when I play Luton Town, do they play incredible attacking free-flowing football, yet the rest of my AI team on player mode can't do that unless I ask for the ball? It makes no sense. Why am I never told about team changes? Surely I should know when we sign or sell a player, especially if it's in my position. Imagine walking onto the team bus to see some brand new better striker there for the first time and you had no clue it was happening. It's not difficult. All it takes is an email in my pro section. I get told when matches get rescheduled. I couldn't care less about that, but I don't even get told when a new player in my position gets signed or sold. I don't even really have anything funny for this section it just gets on my tits i can do another adam johnson joke if you want and finally if you thought being an outfield player was actually horrendous try being a goalkeeper it is actually the most boring thing in all of existence i would rather sip a steaming hot cup of bleach than spend five minutes as a goalkeeper on this game all right Cool, let's go. Right, time for my debut as a goalkeeper. Let's get into this. One hour later. Yep, let's, uh, still waiting for a bit of action. Ah, someone, hey, hey, Trent, give me the ball. You know, you wanna, okay, no, that's. Two hours later. What a save! Go back! 
three hours later. Can you move it along? I'm all out of time cards. Yeah, that's it. That's it. I'm done. I've had enough. I'm going on Red Dead Redemption. I can't be bothered with this. I've been smoking and drinking. Yeah. See the weed and the voice got me thinking skeptical. But you better know when I'm under the influence. If I say shit, then I meant it all. Had a flashback when I used to kick ball. When the coach told me I went technical. Man, I lost all the air in my lungs. And it's like man took a low blow to the testicles. Like you see the spare time, I invested all to the music. Dug deep, now I'm seeing improvements. Spill thoughts on the ink on the page and it feels for a 